Hello, today I'm playing a game called Bit Heroes. I think I played this game before, I decided to play the game. So this game has just released on Steam like one or two weeks ago. So I created another account. My username is called Friendly Shadow. So yeah. I think in this account I'm trying to go for a lot of speed in this account. My previous account. Uh, Smiles is a DPS, damage per second, sees attack and speed. And my other account is a tank, so yeah. So if you're not familiar with this game, you can play this game through Steam. You can just down, you can just uh, search for the title called Bit Heroes. So yeah, let me go to the quest then. Dungeon. So I've already completed the first area. This is the first area, Bit Valley. There are four dungeons in it, and then I've also unlocked the second zone. However, I'll just be grinding the first zone for now. I think I like Dungeon 4 the best, mainly because there is like. I think people say there is like a lot of gems that you can get. There are a lot of gems that you can get for this dungeon. So that's what I like about it. Another good thing about this game is mainly because it's on auto. I think it sounds a bit loud. Let me reduce the volume a bit to 20, reduce to 20. Okay, got a new item that I can equip maybe? Not really. Alright, I'll just continue auto. So yeah, I think this game is quite easy going. It's very simple. However, I think this game is also very much a pay to win game if you're planning to be in the top like Maybe top 100 or top 500. Yeah. According to the website, or according to the developers, there are like 2 million registered users. However, in total, I think there's probably like tens of thousands of maybe like 10,000 active players. But I think the art style in this game is really nice, so that's why I like playing this game. I actually managed... In this game, you can also capture the monsters. So I actually captured this uh, cyan-looking archer, the ghost-looking ghost archer. Oh, I got a schematic over there. So yeah. Quite easy going. Usually, I'll just run this game on the background and just let the game run by itself. But since I'm doing a video, I'm paying attention to the game. So, all right. So, other things that's interesting about this game is that there is the gem shop, this is the pay to win shop. So, you can see lots of pay to win elements in it, lots of sales and stuff. Usually, the item that you want is the minor experience tome or 8000 gems, 8000 gold. So, I played since I think 3 days ago or something, I got 10,000 already, so you can just buy this. So basically, it increases your experience gain from battles by 25% for 24 hours. So yeah, you should always get the minor items. So it's minor item find, minor experience toll, minor gold potion, minor speed kicks. So yeah, once I got more money, I'll buy them definitely. 
So the next thing you want to do in this game really is just to friend more friends. So I'll say that if you are level 24, you basically want to friend level 100 people. So you can just friend this and friend that. Yeah, making friends in this game is very important, so yeah. Another element that I want to show is probably the PvP. So we got so each of the resources has a timer. For this energy, I believe it's four minutes per energy, and you have a maximum of 123. Every time you level up, I believe you gain like one energy, one max energy. So eventually when you're level 100, it's like 223 and next uh, PvP also has an energy I think this is 40 minutes per ticket so let's try PvP so you can choose different amount of tickets each additional ticket you choose increases the amount of bonuses that you get so yeah so somebody just accepted our French uh, accept our friend request so usually we'll just message the person thank you thanks for accepting the friend request so yeah I think in this game the the best part of this game is the social aspect you're chatting with people in real life I think that's very important in the game makes the game more alive that way so let's see. So let's. I want to go to the stable first. So yeah, he replied, no worries, enjoy. So yeah, it's very good. So let's click. This guy has the stable. So basically, you can capture the same familiar. Each of these monsters is actually called familiar. So you can capture them and you can like combine them together so that they are stronger so this will help you in pvp so we choose our team our team looks good so let's play pvp so basically you have to choose the person that you think is the weakest so my 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 rule of thumb is always to choose the person with the lowest amount of of stamina. So in this case, it will be Imperial user. So yeah, let's go. So in this case, I'm not putting I'm putting photo off because I want to manually control it. So in PvP, the goal is definitely. To kill or to damage the user account first, that's what the times. So basically you're playing against an AI, so it's actually very easy. So yeah, whenever your familiar is damaged, you can swap it over, swap the position so that it doesn't take further damage. So, yeah. So now that the user is dead, I can quickly safely press photo and it should defeat the rest of the familiar. completed the brawler bounty as well so so this game also has a bounty system basically it's a daily bonus daily bounty so every day I think you get one bounty so if you complete the bounty you get additional resources so this case is five gems so basically when you start out the game you basically want to save your gems because what you want to buy is this large of accessory box or the large defense egg so it needs 800 gems so it's probably about a week and a half of a plane so yeah so my next plan is probably to grind this dungeon until I ran out of energy so yeah hope you enjoyed the video so thanks for watching again bye